was he here? In this question, we're told that John bought seven bags of cement and three bags of gravel, and that the total weight of these bags was 215 kilograms. To write down an equation to illustrate this information. So we need a letter standing for the unknown weight of each type of bag. So we must clearly state uh, the meaning of the letters that we use. So let's write this down. Let C kilograms be the weight of one bag of cement and let G kilograms be the weight of one bag of gravel. So what do we know? We know that seven bags of cement would be seven times C, seven times the weight of one bag, and to that we have to add the weight of three bags of gravel, so that's three times whatever G is. That's the total weight of the seven bags and the three bags, giving us 200 15. So that's part A. Let's now have a look at part B. In this we have the introduction of a new character, Shona. She bought five bags of cement, four bags of gravel, total weight of her bags was 200. And let's write another equation for that information. So five bags of cement, five lots of C kilograms, 5C, plus four bags of gravel, four lots of G kilograms, would be equal to 200 kilograms. So 5C plus 4G equals 200. Let's move on to the last part. So it says calculate the weight of one bag of cement and the weight of one bag of gravel. And you'll have realised by this point that we're dealing with simultaneous equations. Now for simultaneous equations we're attempting to get either the C in this case or the G, the coefficients, the numbers multiplying them the same and we do this by multiplying. There's two ways of doing it, either we produce 35s for the C by multiplying by 5 and multiplying by 7 or we produce 12s by multiplying by 4 and multiplying by 3. Let's do the 12. So let's multiply the first equation by 4 and the second equation by 3. So everything gets multiplied by 4, both sides. For 4 lots of 7c, 28c. 4 lots of 3g, 12g. 4 lots of 215. Now 4 lots of 15 would be 60 and 4 twos are 8. So 860 for that. Let's move on. Multiplying everything here by 3, 3 lots of 5c is 15c, 3 lots of 4g be 12g, and 3 lots of 200, 600. Now what do we do now? Well, we look at the g terms. These are what we're trying to get rid of. Now, adding them would give us 24g. That's no good. So we'd subtract them. So we'd take the second equation away from the first equation. Everything on the left-hand side away from everything on the, uh, the right-hand sides. So 15c away from 28c would give us 13c. Now I'm going to write down what we're doing here. We're subtracting. So that gives us 13c. 12g away from 12g, that vanishes. 600 from 860 is 260. And of course at this stage we divide both sides by 13. Now 13 into 26 goes 2. We've got a 0 there, so 20. 13 times 20 does give us 260. So C equals 20. Now that we've got that, 
Well, let C equal 20 in, and we choose one of these uh, equations. Let's choose the second equation here. We'll put C equals 20 in the equation 5C plus 4G equals 200. So instead of 5 times C, we have 5 times 20. So that's 5 times 20 plus 4G is equal to 200. So what does that mean? 5 twenties is 100 plus 4G equals 200. Take away 100 from both sides. That would leave us just 4G on the left-hand side and 100 on the right-hand side. And now let's divide both sides by 4. So G equals 4 into 100 is 25. So what does this mean? One bag of cement. Remember that's what uh, C stood for, the weight of one bag of cement. So one bag of cement weighs 20 kilograms and one bag of gravel weighs 25 kilograms. Now, if you wish, you since we used 5C plus 4G equals 200, we could uh, do a check. Let's do a check to see that everything's okay. 7C plus 3G, this is the equation we never used down at this stage. So 7C plus 3G should come to 215. So 7c we know now is 7 times 20, and 3g we now know that's 3 times 25. So 7 times 20 is 140, 3 times 25 is 75, and certainly 140 plus 75 comes to 215. So that check has worked. These values fit into this first equation and make it true, so these must be the solutions. That's Mr Corsi signing out. Hope you enjoyed the video.